This is another Making Comics 101 quick tip. <laughs> Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with Cirkworks Art Labs. Welcome to another Making Comics 101 quick tip. So we are off and running with the series Making Comics 101. We've done our introductions. We've talked a little bit about what we need to do to get started. And we've even talked about some tools. The tool episode could have been a little intimidating. There's a lot of different tools you can use, but you don't have to use those tools. And I think, like I said, a lot of people, they see that stuff, it's a little overwhelming. So I wanna to try to break it down because all you really need is one of these and some of these. Pencil and paper, that's your basic barrier to entry. That's all you really need to create a comic. I know a lot of people, they've got their minds set on, you know, something like this, or even worse, something like this, or heaven forbid, something like this. And if this is your first comic, um, you don't want to be thinking about this kind of stuff. I mean, people don't, these aren't these people's first comics, except maybe Jeff Smith, because he's insane. But. And I don't even think that was his first comic, but he was doing that for a while. But you can get started. The easiest way to get started, and I've talked about this so many times, is just with a simple mini comic. And these don't even have to be that big. These are some mini comics by some friends of mine. Marshall Lee, definitely check out Marshall's channel. Um, he even did a one hour comic cha challenge. He's done it twice. He failed the first time and then he killed it the second time. Um, but really amazing, that's a challenge. That's a quick and easy way to get started. But all these little mini comics and they come in different formats and everything. But the simplest format is something like this. So all you need to really do, and we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna keep it like to, like an eight, not even an eight page, a four page comic. That's even easier with cover, all right? So we've got two sheets of standard copy paper in the US they're eight and a half by 11 inches I don't know what that comes out to in millimeters and all that stuff um, you guys can figure that out but just a standard sheet of copy paper get two sheets folded in half like that and that's basically your comic now the, dip, the only thing you have to realize is you kind of have to create a dummy because uh, once you start taking these apart, the pages will get out of order. But that's super easy. All you have to do, let's see if I got one here. Yeah. So I just went through and I just wrote down on here, front cover and flipped it. And this is just going to be an inside cover. But, and then this part is, this is the artwork right here. So it's just one page folded and I put one and you go, you open it up, you write a two, a three and a four. And then when you unfold it, it's a little out of order, but you'll, you'll have an idea. So keep this on hand so you know how to lay out your pages and everything. And then if you want, of course, just do your cover and everything. And you can even expand if you want to go, if you want to go six pages, you can start here. But typically, typically I like to start this because I like that first page and then the page turn. But that's basically it. That's the introduction to making comics. And you can even start it with one sheet of paper. You know, some of these smaller books, like this one here, it's just, it's basically, you can start with one sheet, you can add more, but you just, kind of folded in fourths like this. Very simple. I mean, you guys probably know this, but I think even, even if you do know this, you still, you're still thinking about this when you think of comics, and it doesn't have to be like that. Start simple, and that's the best way, I think, to get going making comics. Once you have one of these done, or two of these done, 10 of these done, or whatever, then you can start going, you know, to, uh, well, this is a little bigger than a, than a 20, but then go up to like a, you know, go to a, a 22 pager, and then after that, maybe a 32 pager, and go up like that. But that's my advice. That is the quick tip for today. We will be back next week where we're talking about all ideas for some of you guys who maybe have some artist blog you've got the tools to get kind of get started know how to get started but maybe you need the ideas we're gonna talk about that next week I will see you then and that is all hey thanks for watching if you like what you saw and you want to see more hit that subscribe button also you can follow me at Cirkworks on social media and now you can support the work that I do on patreon do you like making comics then go to Cirkworks.com and pick up the comic maker starter kit it's packed full of fonts brushes templates and more and best of all it's totally free